I think this is a, you know, a harbinger of the kind of thing to expect more of the, with time. Uh, you can't ever say a heat wave is 100% climate change because weather happens, right? But that extra smidgen of heat on top of what would be a normal heat wave, uh, I, that's how I like to think of, of a change in climate. As BC grapples with record-setting temperatures over the next few days, is this heat wave a one-off or a sign of things to come if we don't change? It's pretty clear that this is uh, part of the trend that's been projected and expected. And quite frankly, we are seeing around us, you know, this decade especially, uh, heat waves, Droughts, things like that, are becoming more frequent. We had a big one in uh, 2017. Dr. Stephen Shepard is with the Faculty of Forestry at UBC. He's been studying climate change for years. Uh, there have been some excellent studies, including regional studies uh, for BC and uh, Metro Vancouver, that project uh, that we are going to see three or four degrees extra um, average temperatures, um, particularly in the summer, um, over you know, middle of the century and later in the century. And BC is already up uh, over one degree on average. Um, and we're warming faster than some other parts of the world. What's important to take a look at is the patterns and the repetition. So seeing the same thing three, four, five years in a row, even 10 years in a row, that could actually spell trouble for our world. I don't know if we've had a stretch this long um, where we've had warm temperatures overnight and in the daytime too. We're talking about a four or five day stretch here. We frequently get three, maybe four day stretches with daytime highs in the mid thirties around the area. That's why the records for the Fraser Valley, for example, are in the mid thirties. As for weather news, 1130 meteorologist Michael Coos thinks this is all tied to climate change. We have incredibly extreme highs and extreme lows all the time and we have throughout history. It's when we see a series of these events, that's what signals or indicates that the climate is changing and this just isn't a one-off event, it's a pattern. Is there room for improvement in BC's climate change policies? They're a little slower than we would like, that the scientists would like. It's, you know, we've known about climate change for 20 or 30 years, but BC has been a leader and, uh, many of the communities themselves are taking this very seriously. He says it's important individuals take action. I think they should talk to their community centers, talk to their libraries, talk to their local politicians and find out what programs are going on. How can, what can I join up and do? And, and I think we need a lot more of that. In Vancouver, Rhea Renouf, City News.